So here, please go to their booths, um, speak with them, um, share your experience to make their products better, um, learn about their product, and really buy their products so that they have money to sponsor us next year again. <laughs> so that's about the sponsors. Um, maybe we can give them a little bit. Uh, Okay, we will we'll share some, some of my thoughts. I have 15 minutes, so I will do it really, really quick. You're all um, are waiting on, on Andy for the really serious stuff, so I will only do some jokes and that's all. Um, so some people may know I'm, I'm not longer in the OSM board and I left after the Jumla World Conference. I'm now also an events team leader. And um, it's interesting when you are not longer in the inner circle. So as I was inside, I always thought so we are really big, transparent, and openness, and also great, and all the stuff. So um, I'm I'm not enough outside to to really um, say if this is right or wrong. But what I personally find out uh, is that um, openness and transparency is not only about about um, the willingness to publish information. It has also a time factor. So when you make a decision in a leadership um, position, I think you should, you should uh, publish this, uh, this uh, decision and let people know about it. So that is also an important part, I think, and uh, some leadership people are here, maybe that's an, something you can have in your mind from an outsider. Um, another thing maybe we can agree on, is that we are not really good in, in, in getting things done. And um, as, I, as I was in the board, I hadn't really the time to look at all the discussions in, in, in mailing lists. Um, so after, so now the last two or three months, I have followed more all these discussions. And um, I think there is a 99% chance when you see a discussion with more than 100 posts and reading is, is a total waste of time. And um, in, in another chat, someone, someone said, um, English are born grumpy. Um, that maybe explains something, but not all. And um, uh, it was a quote from someone from England that lived now in, in the US, so he should know. Um, I think there are some language problems, so I personally like more of the uh, straight way, um, and I really don't need all this uh, good command and all this stuff. Um, so, um, I lost a little bit. Okay. Um, what, I, what I will really say at, at the end is, is um, that um, these this discussions are, when you look at them at detail, they have always the same plot. So. They start with a great idea, and then at some point came people one in, and, and uh, uh, voiced their opinion, and then came people two, and they one, two, one, two, one, two, and then came people three, and uh, at some times it, it's only going in circles, and it doesn't make any sense. So, and I think one reason of this is that um, there is a lot of history in our project. We have seven years now, so and um, we all have this box of of history, and it's it's full of history. And I think what we have to do 
and now there's a special effect, um, we have to empty this box. And then we try to do this also here. And that's maybe something we have to do and keep in mind and, and start over and, and um, um, being more open for new discussions. Um, anyway, uh, to, to, really, to really go through this with um, all the details, I think it will take three hours and we will not do this. Uh, what I will do is, is I'm, I will propose something, um, maybe a challenge, maybe a deal, I don't know. Um, and the idea is, um, when you are in, involved in a discussion or something um, and you maybe think about the future and, and all this stuff, uh, maybe do some real work. So go into the forums, fix a bug, test a bug, do something like this. So that's my, my wish for, for you and for, for all people um, in the Joomla community, so that we really get things done. And, and because nothing is really, really existent when, when it's, it's not on Twitter, so please use this hashtag here uh, and Twitter on it. So that's all. Thank you.